All right, joining us now to talk about the search for Daphne Webb, the missing toddler, Mark Clash, who is with the Class Kids Foundation. He is an advocate for missing children. Thank you for coming in. Sure thing. Of course, there's a lot we don't know. There are a lot of missing pieces to this, not only that she's missing, but there's so much we still don't understand. But what are your first impressions? You've been uh, involved in so many cases like this. Well, this has shades of Hassani Campbell. I mean, it's a situation in Oakland where somebody finds a location that is under no surveillance whatsoever, and then a child mysteriously disappears, apparently never to be seen again. Nobody saw anybody take the child. You look back and nobody has seen the child for quite some period of time. Let's remind uh, our viewers about the Hassani Campbell case sure. that you just referenced. Uh, that's the little boy who went missing in Oakland in August of 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, his parents were in a uh, building. He was apparently in the car in the back of that building and then somehow disappeared. Yeah, exactly. That was the situation. He was in behind the building. There were no cameras there the father the stepfather came around the front to go into the back to get the little boy so well, the comparisons because not only that that there's no surveillance but what well that's mainly it because quite frankly it's hard to not be under surveillance in America in this day and age unless you plan not to be under surveillance this is something I learned in the Michelle Lay case I mean they, they followed this killer every step of the way and they've got her on camera so what how is the class kids foundation helping this family well the family's reached out to us the mother side of the family has reached out to us and we're waiting to have a conversation with them to get them to sign a consent form we're going to help them with flyers and we're going to help them with social media get them up onto uh, the get a, get a Twitter account for them and get them up onto Facebook what does it signal to you that the father was arrested on child endangerment charges oh it's terrible no, it's absolutely terrible, particularly when they gave him $100,000 bail. I mean, that tells you that they suspect um, deeper and darker things, I think. Well, you mentioned the Hassani Campbell case, and mm -hmm. during part of that time, of course, that father in that case was under suspicion. Do you believe that this father is somehow potentially involved in the disappearance of this child? Uh, I think it's too early to speculate, but I think that that's a strong possibility and it's something that needs to be looked at. What's glaring to you in this? And uh, aside from the fact there was no surveillance video, at least that we know of, what else is glaring? Well, members of the family have told us that it's been two weeks from today since the last time they saw the little girl. Nobody's seen this child for quite some period of time. Again, shades of Hassani Campbell. Yeah, a lot of the neighbors saying the same same thing. Uh -huh. They've not seen the child. Mm -hmm. What do you think should be the next step? What will be the next step? Well, we need to support the family. We need to support law enforcement's efforts and let them do what they need to do. They're obviously holding a lot of information back or they wouldn't be focusing so heavily on two specific areas. For those searches, yeah, particularly around the park, which yeah. makes it unsettling as well. It's got to be more than the fact that, yeah, he used to take her there on occasion. Yeah, so sure. more pieces coming out to this puzzle in the coming days. Mark Class, thank you for your observation as well. We'll Always. keep in touch with you as you help the family. Sure.